22-year-old Jared Lee Loeffner is now in FBI custody. Authorities say he went on a savage rampage Saturday morning, <laughs> shooting 18 people and killing six, including a federal judge. How many people are in here there? We have about a total of 10 people, maybe more. Oh my God. Investigators believe Loeffner shot Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords in the head at point blank range. After two hours of surgery yesterday, she remains sedated. We are still, still in critical condition. Brain swelling at any time can take a turn for the worse, but I am cautiously optimistic. Gifford's Congress on Your Corner event Saturday at this local grocery store turned into complete chaos when bullets started flying. He shot her first. He came up and, and purposely shot her first and then just began shooting everybody in the area who were supporters of hers. Witnesses say the gunman casually approached Giffords at the table and then shot her from about three feet away. He then began shooting everyone in sight. While he was trying to reload, a woman pulled the ammunition clip away. He was finally subdued as two men wrestled him to the ground. Dr. Stephen Rail played dead to avoid being shot and then helped hold the shooter down. It was very... Um, frightening, especially coming from such a young guy. Authorities say Loeffner was firing a 9mm semi-automatic pistol. It holds 30 rounds. CBS News has learned that he bought it legally at this Tucson sporting goods store last fall. That's about the time classmates at his local community college say Loeffner started acting erratically. He was reportedly suspended and told to get a mental health evaluation. Federal law enforcement officials are now poring over a series of often incoherent online videos Loeffner is thought to have made. He talks about a new form of currency and not trusting the government because they use mind control to brainwash people. FBI Director Robert Mueller is now in Tucson overseeing the investigation. And to do everything that we can to ensure that our elected officials and the citizens we serve are safe. Detectives seized a computer from Loeffner's home in a quiet neighborhood about 10 minutes from the shooting. Officials say there is evidence he may have been tracking Congresswoman Giffords and even attended an event of hers in 2007, at which he asked her a question. Giffords, a moderate Democrat, was re-elected in November. Her support for the new health care law made her a target, and her Tucson office was vandalized last spring when the reform bill passed. But the FBI has not yet linked any of that heated political rhetoric to this shooting. In fact, they say they're not exactly sure what the specific motive would be for this shooter to target this congresswoman in particular. So the question tonight is still why. Russ? Ben, earlier today, detectives were looking for a so-called person of interest. What's the latest on that? Well, at first they thought he might have been someone who had helped Loeffner pull off this shooting. In fact, it turns out he was simply a cab driver who dropped him off at the grocery store, and he has now been cleared by the FBI. I see. Russ. Okay. Ben Tracy in Tucson. Thank you very much.